Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Q Stead Q. What you gonna do? I don't know, but something's gotta go. Listen, y'all, I got to looking at my rooms and, and closet space and all this. Now, my house may not be the biggest, it may not be the best, but one thing I do have is five closets in here that were packed to capacity. Well, not my bedroom, because I got that one done during the Swedish death cleaning, and I got this closet done, and so this closet right here holds, you know, necessary things, but there's space in it. But the bedroom closets the for the two spare bedrooms, just a nightmare. And so that stuff you see right there is my sister's stuff. So she's coming to get that today. In fact, while I was doing the first video, she called and it cut the video off. So thank God, because I was doing a rant on that video about her and everybody else who have not come to get their items that they were supposed to be getting. So uh, she has to come over later for something. I'm doing something for her. So I told her about her stuff, and she said that she will put whatever she doesn't want to the curb, and she'll take the rest. Very good. So then my cousin's tables, they're going to the curb tomorrow's special pickup, and they're going to be stopping that. In fact, uh, it stops after this month. And so if I don't get those tables out today, they will not be picked up unless, but I have a feeling that somebody's going to come and get those tables. Now, in the meantime, let me show you the room. These are going to the garbage. Uh, that's going into the linen closet because that's for the, for the Murphy bed, which is right there. Okay, here's the closet, you guys. Now, everything you see in here is my stuff. I... Decided I would get my planters to put those on the deck. And so all these mason jars needed to be put away. I'm going to use I'm gonna use my bath chair underneath this table. So if I want to sit down and do seed starting and stuff, this is the perfect height for this table. So I can sit down and work if I need to sit down. This table right here is going today. I'm taking this table into that other room and... So Sherry's cotton plant and the pepper plants will be on this table and it's going to be under the grow light in that room. So this will be moved out of the way. I'm going to put that, that soil outside. Uh, all this other stuff under here, my seed starting stuff, either it should fit in this closet along with the mason jars and I'm putting my canning, uh, my canner is, where is it? Oh, here it is underneath the chair, my canner right there. That's going on, on this bottom shelf. My mason jars, I can put my mason jars. There's shelving space for those. And, uh, and then I've got my little prep tub. So actually those uh, seasonings right there that's on that shelf can go right into that prep tub and I'll put the top on it, the lid. And then this other stuff, you know, these right here, those two trays have always been kept on the side of there, but that picture is there. But I'm going to move that. In fact, that's Sherry's picture. So uh, I, I can take that right to the living room and put those two snack trays back there. And then all this other junk. Now, I do have ostomy. I used to donate to the ostomy closet. But now, since there's a, a, a huge shortage and stuff, I've been keeping my extra supplies. So that's part of my preps. So I've got that piled over in that corner. But I'm going to get a box or... Uh, whatever room is in here, I can start stacking some of that stuff in there as well as my bedroom closet. I have plenty of room in my bedroom closet to put my extra supplies. I just haven't done it. So some of this is on me. I'm not blaming everybody or others for everything else. But what I do know is that all this mess that you see, there is a proper place for it. So I'm going to take that, that soil outside. Uh, I'm going to go on and take it outside and put it in the greenhouse because I can lift the bag now. And then my seeds, you know, that will be stacked in here. Then I've got preps over there. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to tell you where all the preps are, but I've got preps in, in various spots. Uh, these, uh, uh, these, uh, uh, deck, these, uh, the deck containers, I am going to slide those under this table over here because this table will remain here, but it'll be out of sight and out of mind, you know, but all this other mess, no, there is a place for it. So what I'm going to do is come 
I took the tables out. They're going to the curb because my cousin never came to get them. So as you can see, I have junk all over the bed. I'm getting ready to go outside and that's going to be today's video. I'm going to be planting the Irish way potatoes, the onion seeds, the onion butts, but that other long table that you see will be right here on this wall. And then I can put the cotton plant and the pepper plants right here on that. And then anything extra, like all my footies and stuff like that can go underneath the table. I don't mind that. My sister told me I can get rid of all the Christmas decorations because she gave me, I had a tree and I don't really use it now. It's just been piled in this closet with all the other junk that has to come out of there. And this is a nice size closet too. It goes from way over there all the way back there. You know, it's not that deep, but it's a nice size closet. But anyway, it's full of just junk. So my sister said, get rid. She said, I don't want anything Christmas. I was like, okay, thank you. I said, because now I can toss all that mess and someone else can come and see it at the curb and take it. So that's where we're at right now. But that's going to be later on today and tomorrow. It's going to take me a few days to finish. And I'll show you everything once it's done. And you will see a much better uh, spare bedroom, computer room, office, you know, because I call this the office slash den or no, I call it the office slash bedroom. So it's going to look like an office slash bedroom, craft room and garden all over again. And things will be in their proper place. I'm going to go along some of the shelving in here and get rid of things that I don't need. You know, the ostomy supplies will be, you know, taken out that type of thing. So, uh, it's going to take me, you know, a while to get that done, but at least I'm moving in the right direction. And I had to start today because enough was enough with all this stuff, okay? So say goodbye to the tables, you guys, because you won't see them anymore. Yep. And they're beat up and everything, but somebody can do something with them. You know, uh, uh, a woodworker, you know, they're antique, but they're not worth anything. And they are, they're French uh, conventional. I paid a good penny for them way back in, in 2003, I believe. I paid some good money for these tables, but they were pristine when I got them. But the legs have broken because they're old. At one point, I became homeless. That's a long story. Where an apartment I was moving in didn't have the apartment ready on moving day, and I had to leave the other apartment, and everything had to go to storage while I moved back in with my mother for two weeks. And needless to say, I did not take that apartment. I found another one, but <laughs> needless to say, it was the dead of winter when that happened. And because the tables were in storage and it got cold, the legs snapped, every one of them, on both of them, and they're glued together. So that killed the value of the tables. That was hurtful. Oh, I was hurt then because back then the tables were pristine and they got weather beaten while they were in there just for, because my stuff was in there for about, it was a month because uh, in two weeks, I found a new place. I had to wait for them to get it ready and all that. So that took like two weeks because it was because of an eviction or whatever it, that took another two weeks. And so altogether, the stuff was in storage for a month and it went in there like in January, the coldest month, and it was still cold in February. And Boy, when those tables got pulled out and stuff was on top of them and all that, because when JD and them put that stuff in storage, it was a nightmare. And those legs were snapped. So that was it. And so I glued them and continued enjoying the tables. But now it's time for them to go. They served me well and were worth every penny that I paid for them. But I really hate that my cousin, you know, decided. And maybe she looked at them and thought, you know, although she told me she liked them and they would look beautiful in her house because she has a historic home. She lives in a historic neighborhood here. And the thing is, if, uh, you know, they would look nice in our house, but they would need, you know, some sprucing and whatnot. I, I can understand that. But my thing is, don't tell me you go come get them and you don't. So to the curb, they go. Somebody will get those tables and will appreciate them just as much as I did during their heyday. So. And if they don't, then to the to the landfill they go, okay? <laughs> but anyway, let me get off of here because my sister will be here at five. I've got to get this stuff planted and get today's episode filmed while I'm doing that. And then I will meet you back <laughs> later on today. Talk to you guys later and may God bless you all. Bye-bye.